soon. But just to give you guys a quick right recap of him, in case you guys do not know who this young prodigy is. <laughs> His real name is June. Uh, I'm probably going to mispronounce this as Haramara. Haramama. Um, his age is actually 14. He is definitely the youngest pump player to be in this avalanche. Um, his main arcade is round one MPM. I don't know the name of that arc, round one specifically, um, but I know it's somewhere around in this area. His highest clear is a D26. He started playing in the middle of summer 2018. Um, I do know he has also plays DDR on the side as well. I'm not exactly sure when he started playing that. So he does have some uh, rhythm game experience. Uh, and he also does play piano, so he's got that as well. His top three pump charts is Mental Rider D22, Iolite Sky D24, and Passacaglia D23. Those are some interesting charts. I respect him for liking that. Top three songs is Life is Piano, Smile Diaries, and Feel My Happiness. And his uh, proudest pump achievement is the world's youngest expert three, expert level three. Um, I, which I should even just speak on its own that he's expert three, and the fact that he is 14 is just insane. And his hobbies uh, is rhythm games, and he does also play piano, and he's a very, very talented kid. Um, but yeah. We'll get rolling here. I just need to change the player card here real quick. Just give me one sec. Oh my god, he's so much taller compared to last time. All right, chat, we've got June on the pad, ready to go. And we are just setting up his profile on the top left of the scene here, so bear with us. And we will get started. Click off of it. All right, we're all set here, chat. June, are you ready? All right. We're gonna start you in three, two, one, pump. And here we go, this is the last contender for today. The third of the four days. He's got three hours on the clock. Play as many level 20s and up as possible. He's gonna start his set out with Feel My Happiness, D21. He's a great chart and a great song. I think when this song was released, it um, only had a D18 as the max difficulty, and then it, this was an additional uh, release. The chart or the song? The, the song was Prime 1, wasn't it? Uh, song released in Prime 1, and then this chart was released in Prime 2. Yeah, great addition. Really good chart to teach you, like, bracket tech. June's strengths are um, very much so in, um, I would say, speed for sure. He's a really fast player. But he can do drills pretty well. He can do, like, she likes pizza 230 BPM or 220 BPM runs. Um, his bracket skill isn't bad per se. It just really struggles with it because of his weight. Being, you know, at age 14, he's a very lightweight player. So having, like, quad holds or triple holds can be a little damaging to him. But he, honestly, in the last, like, year and a half or so, He's definitely improved on that because he's gotten older and gained a little bit more weight as he's growing up. So he's able to manage it much more better than before. Like when I first had him under my wing and was like training him and teaching him stuff, he was heavily restricted on passing a lot of charts just because of being too lightweight to do triple holds or quad holds. Really good. Might be a single miss or a bad, who knows. Yeah, one miss. Yeah, I knew you could do it. One miss right at the end. It's gonna give him 35 points. Next stage. This man is taller than Evan. Think about that. Oh. 
Oh, great choice. <clears throat> yeah, this is a really good warm up. Lots of movement. Great start. If you can get uh, the miscount bonus on this, it should be pretty rewarding. It's a pretty mean 22. Oof. He's alive. He's alive. Ah, that dropped hole is going to cost. Yeah, you can reset cab. Yeah, this D22, a lot of people have argued that's a 23. The 24 was used to be a 23. Um, they bumped that one up. But I think this definitely does belong in a D23 category. If it did, it'd be a very low end. Oh, he's going to go over to Poseidon. Yet another chart that is arguably a 23. Very brutal and relentless. This is a great choice as well. 150 BPM. Turns that are not too difficult until the finale run, so it's a good way to warm up. This bounce effect, though, I, I hate I hate that bounce effect because it feels like it's too much to like your, compared to like your normal comfort reading zone. If you have it like in your normal zone, it like is just a little too much to where it's hard to anticipate what's next, and it can kind of throw you off like it did there for June. He, if he keeps pushing here, he's going to be able to get the miscount bonus. What's up, Gui? How's it going, man? This, here's the second half of the run. This is where it gets pretty difficult, and the patterns are a lot more brutal. A lot of red, yellow, reds. Then it like throws you to the side and does like an inner turn on the yellow back to an outer to a stair. Taking advantage of the red, yellow, red patterns here and blue, yellow, blues by double stepping them. Keeping that combo. Aggressive turns right there. Combos it, no problem. Nice job, June. Ah, yeah, great job. It should be the miscount bonus, but we'll have to see. Three miss, very good. To be 105 points. Next stage. I, yeah, it was fast. Sometimes he blocks. Yeah. Three's really good on that. He's warming up with the 22 folder right now. Uh, makes sense why you picked this one. It's literally a copy paste of Feel My Happiness. Just beefed up a little bit. Hey Blips, how's it going? Yeah, welcome to the stream, dude. And yeah, we're hosting a tournament right now. This is the third out of fourth day. The name of the event is Avalanche. This is the fifth Avalanche we've had. We've got June playing right now, 14-year-old player.
Alright, this is the Feel My Happiness copy paste. Just way more techy. Nice job. Good run. 16 miss. There's a couple holes that were dropped in there. Otherwise, the individual note hits were very good. You got, if anything, just like bads throughout that. Another good one here. Great warm up. I feel like if he keeps doing this, it's gonna be right around that 23, 22. But oh, what was Irma's? Cause he mixed in 22s and 23s. Like, wow. get this quad hold what June likes to do during quad holds most of the time is he will like spam jump it to keep it like going it's, it is a technique that some players can utilize it's not very common but for someone like June as lightweight as he is it makes complete sense to do that so rather than staying stationary and just trying to hold it you can spam it and it'll give you more of a chance to keep it there and alive all these holds here actually have a note above them, so you cannot just stand there on them. You have to hit them all. If you're familiar with pump mechanics, you know that normal holds, you can just stand there. As long as you're on it, you're good. Doing really good on the brackets here. Picking up some goods and bads, though. Life bar doesn't even drop. That's an easy pass for June. I don't know how much he weighs, actually, but it's definitely light. 11 miss. One note off of the miscount bonus, but it's 90 points right there. He's at 270. Next stage. Playing all the tech charts for starting out his session. The only stamina that he's gotten so far with choices is Poseidon. So he's definitely making sure he's going to play this safe with warming up properly before he goes into some of the more intense stamina charts. That section is really brutal. If you mistime that, then it just kills you instantly. It's really hard to tell on stream unless you're familiar with the chart, but all of those sections, that whole section right there was just mini holds. And if you miss like a good chunk of those, you're done. 
His life bar just depleted really fast, but he's still gonna get the gray A if he keeps it up. <laughs> oh, good job. Oh, this is a really interesting pick here. Um, great chart. One of my favorites in the most recent releases. Level 23, but man, this, this chart is something. Really fast run at the very end. With It's already fast enough in this uh, 24th notes it throws at you, but it actually sneaks in 32nd notes as well. It's very unusual. All throughout it, it's just so well made and it just flows very smoothly. It's got brackets, got whole tech, double steps, crossovers, foot speed, burst, just throws it all at you. Here comes the death run. Nice job. What a clean run. Six miss. Wow, that's gonna be a lot of points. Hold on. You got 110 just from playing that and getting the pass. But then he's going to get 135 because of that miscount bonus, putting him at 430 points total. Yeah, that run at the end is ridiculous. It's 20 fourths, and then, I mean, at 145, 20 fourths, I'm pretty sure that's, that's over 210 BPM. That's close to like 220 BPM or, or so. And then it throws in 30 seconds. It's just, it's ridiculous. Outstanding run. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, this is my I just grabbed it because it's a top of Alright, well, I mean, I feel like 
stress the plate so much that like, I feel like y'all know kind of what's going on with this trip, but yeah, it's just played by nine people, including Jen, so. So we're going into death run here. She got one miss, or one bad. That's going into the actual hard part of the run. Doing it well. It's kind of a mixture of kind of cheating and just doing it legit. Absolutely no problem, dude. Yeah. Easy pass. It's four misses, too. It gives him a total of 155 points. He's already at 585 within 20 minutes. Miss is four bad. Uh, I mean, granted that chart is pretty easy, but you know, still super impressive. All right, it's going into trashy right now. Kind of similar structure wise, where there's not really too much going on in the beginning, and then it's just like a lot at the end. Yeah, it looks like he's like cheating most of this at the intro. Well, June's got June's had a lot of growth since the last Avalanche too, which is something to really know because the last Avalanche, I don't even think he was expert one at the time, and now he's expert three. So in between the years, the two years of that, like he's gotten a lot better. So, and of course, with that, his comfort for the higher levels is gonna increase with it. I mean, to be honest, I've I've seen a set a while ago of his, and it seems pretty tame for the set that I watched of his not too long ago, like a few months ago. Yeah, he's also a really good DDR player. He's like one of the few players that actually uh, actively plays doubles and stuff too. On that game as well. But we're going into the uh, the death run here. That was all the holds and now let's see how he does on the actual run. Barely drops any life at all. No problem. And that's gonna be the miscount is the question. 10 miss and 10 bads. So it's gonna give him another 155 points. <laughs> I, I think people should play more of it, but also at the same time, the transition, if you play pump doubles, it's like really hard to go back to DDR doubles, at least in my opinion, just because the way the flow that pump has is a lot better. Uh, looks like he's going to go back down to 23. Not ready to go like super, super hard yet. Uh, going past Kalia. It's just that easy, guys. <laughs> it's just that easy. That's how you do the intro. Where was it? Where was your ball? I didn't see it. on the uh, island. It's okay, it blends in with the other one. It literally looks the same. That was the laser. Fine. As you can tell. Yeah. Uh, 
I wasn't too, like, surprised. <laughs> That's what I was telling Chad too. It's like from the last Avalanche, I don't even think he was extra one at the time. Yeah, so like he's had two years and he's gone from not even extra one to expert three. And that's a that's a huge room of growth. So I still no, I don't think he's like necessarily warming up still, but like he's still like waiting to get to the point where he starts to do like a harder stuff. Because I imagine he's gonna go into the 25s and 26, probably around like the above 30 minute mark. If I had to take a wild guess. <laughs> Just cheats all that, love it. <laughs> Welcome back, Cell. What's up, Viper? Doesn't even drop life. Very easy. Very well done. Six. Gives him 120. That's actually a lot. So, already at uh, 860 points within 23 minutes. Yeah, I bet. I mean, I would agree with that too. But I, <laughs> I, I did mention it prior that he does also uh, play piano, or he's like learning to play piano. Um, generally speaking, in a game about rhythm, knowing how to have rhythm from an instrument will help you also a lot as well. And then also being young, um, having all that energy to be able to move around and you know not get tired out nearly as fast as well will definitely help them out and being young in general you absorb a lot more info and a lot faster as well uh currently it's 722 here night kope Honestly, most of the most of the songs that are off sync are like primarily in prime. Yeah, twenty three. Yeah, so this is the twenty three. There's not really anything going on in the first half of the song, so. Oh wow, well, welcome. It's up pretty late for you. Or early, depending on when you wake up. I understand how uh, that was us the past couple of days. All right. So now that we're done with that D6, uh, <laughs> we're going to actually go into the harder part of the chart, which is the actual 23 section of it. So. See how he does here. Yeah, 
yeah, now he's just gonna be chilling at intersex. Not too much movement after this. So he did a really, really solid job on this whole run overall. And I do believe that is, I, I think it was only like two or three misses. One, actually, I was wrong. Wow. That was super close. I, I, that was a lot closer than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like two or three. Well, that gives him 145 points. He's already at 1K within, within 30 minutes. And now he's nice and loose. Going to love is a danger zone. Two, try to BPM. This is a char that is primary, only in the center six as well. But just because it's in the inner six does not make it any easier. This char, this char is very, very twisty and it progressively gets faster with this BPM uh, throughout the song. So it starts off pretty slow and you, it gets really fast towards the end. Highest pass of June is 26. Um, I think I believe he's got an A on vacuum cleaner, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he he is working on 27s, um, kind of. I know he hasn't really been playing too too much as of late, but you know. Wouldn't being inner only inner six make it slightly harder? It depends. Um, typically, if you're in the inner six, um, you're, you don't have that much movement where you like you have to like throw yourself across the pad, so it's a lot less tiring on that. Um, but there are charts where if you are in the inner six, they make a pattern really, really hard to read, or they make it very, very twisty. Um, so most of the charts that are just like normal and you're in the middle you don't have to move around like nearly as much or there's not like super hardcore twist like you're gonna see here uh, so you can relax a lot more and kind of catch your breath but unlike this one you're gonna have to do a lot of twists and turns it's gonna get harder from here I haven't fully paid attention but I believe that Apologies, Kurt, baby. All right, he's got past the jacks. Now, oh, this is where the, like, the end run is. Two miss. Yeah, I knew you could do it. Wow. Next stage. That's a remix. That was 165. Oh, for sure. He's definitely going to hit 2K within an hour. Oh wait, he's played Nihilism, or yeah, not Nihilism, uh, you know, Lotho Tap D24 shortcut. This shortcut is hard. <laughs> yeah, it has those black swan patterns, but just like on a faster BPM. Understandable. It's coming up towards the end. The chart we just got a couple drills, and then he's gonna have these like I believe there's gonna be like blue black strings. 
Yeah, we just cheats all of that and gets it. Makes that look way easier than that chart is. Right now it's 100 points. Let's see if he gets the miscount. Hey, he definitely does with that eight. So that gives him 130 from that, just that one shortcut. Yeah, 32 minutes in and uh, 1,300. Game over. Yeah, if this is your first time seeing June, you guys are in for a treat. It's just gonna get better from here. <laughs> Looking at 22s right now. Probably gonna chill out. I say that as he plays Wedding Crashers. Just a couple. It's no big deal though. He got a couple misses on the holds, which might prevent him from getting the miss count bonus, but he's still well alive and very easily just gonna keep trucking along with this uh, song. Section, to be honest. It's like one of the few things I like about this chart. Alright, so we're creeping up on this run that's gonna pretty much go for the rest of the song. Uh, it progressively gets a lot harder. More patch transitions and then get like thrown into the staircase and these like really aggressive turns with this. It just doesn't stop you there. Like a lot of people argue that this is definitely a 20 or is a 23. I would agree with that statement. Yeah, it doesn't even drop those life at all. Gonna be a pass. Fourteen minutes. Next stage. All right, I gave him eighty five points. Going down to Life is Piano D21. This is another one of his charts that he really likes. I imagine that he will do, or he likes a song. I imagine he'll do pretty well on this chart though. I would imagine if he's playing 21s that he is, his goal is to definitely at least S it, if not double S. This gimmick honestly is a little weird. I love how he bracketed that blue. Chat, I, I'm really glad you played this song. It's like, I absolutely love this song as well. It's one of my favorites. It's
nails the burst. Kills that stair. Kills that stair too. And now we're gonna go to the finale, which is gonna have a lot of um, of those like weird like blue, yellow, blue patterns with the red. It's most of the end. I don't know if those are misses or if those were just bads. We're gonna find out here in a sec. It was two misses. Yeah, so good. Gives him 35. Next stage. Level 21, level 22. Going back to the 22 folder. It's going into Adrenaline Blaster. I think one other person played this, but this chart is very uh, tech masterpiece. <laughs> It's got a lot of different stuff in it as well. Like a lot of stuff that you wouldn't see in a lot of other charts, especially at this level. At least on the same like scale as this one does. So there's gonna be a lot of brackets, a lot of turns that you'll see in like the final run that like makes you completely like 180 if you do them legit. And like do this like figure eight skate type thing. Right now you're just kind of in inner four. You, they toss you some brackets every once in a while. He's gone through kind of the break of the song. He's gonna come into the the final run, essentially. And he's ended up cheating most of it, which honestly I don't blame him. These turns are pretty aggressive. Passes it. No ease. Gets that pass on the song. Fifteen. Yeah, it gives him it. twenty-five points on that. Next stage. You good? Yeah. I'm <laughs> level level twenty-one. He's going to solitary too, which I only had a couple people play this. Don't be jealous. Two? I think it was like two or three. So the intro is just pretty much a couple of couple bracket jumps right here and then it's just like a little like baby stream and then it ends up going into like this 30 30 second burst which there's like two ways you can do it you can either do it the legit way by just hitting it and then doing the patterns or you can just end up bracketing it which is a lot easier but your judgment on getting perfects is a lot lower because of it He's just gonna bracket it.
And so it's going to do it again here coming up in a little bit. Uh, but instead of it being just on the blues, it's going to be uh, the blue and yellow. And then he'll eventually swap to the red and yellow, like right here. Or he just doesn't. He just stays there. <laughs> Proves me wrong. There you go. He does it right there. Honestly, I'm not... I don't really know too much. I'm not a big music. I don't know music theory too well. Too well. They're fast, <laughs> but he gets the pass. Seven miss. That is not giving the miscount bonus, but that is still 20 points. Back in the 23 folder, kind of scoping around, seeing what he wants to play. Nope, he said 24. This is the way to go. Okay, I excuse me, 25s. <laughs> it's going into Ignis, which we've seen a lot of the 23. Um, this one is definitely more a. 25 in terms of like a structure because the first one the 23 a lot of it at the beginning is real chill you can kind of break on that but uh this one's got a lot more aggro patterns and stuff like that a lot of speed in it as well at the end exit the cues at the beginning very well There's a few of these. There's, uh, there's a few of these bursts apparently in the beginning. I'm not too too familiar with this chart, but so far, absolutely no problem. It just completely hits all of that stare. So normally there's like a Simon Said section that comes up here, but I definitely know on this 25, you just keep going the whole time. And it's got a bunch of bracket holes like they do here. Which is a little bit concerning because uh, there's like Seth mentioned earlier about his like weight and like the quad holds, but seems to be doing very fine on it. All right, so now he just needs to get his life up here before this final death run of the burst. Makes that very, looks so much easier than it is. 21, unfortunately that's one too many, but he still does get 200 points from it. Next stage. And now he is currently sitting at 1665 at 46 minutes. All right, now he's going into B. Uh, D24. Oh, I see some bees in the chat. Uh, I'm also... <clears throat> My name is Blake. I uh, go by OD Angel in the chat. I used to be a mod on there. Okay, so he got past the beginning, which is like probably one of the more concerning parts of it. <laughs> I love it. And so like all this section, like he can easily very, 
he can just cheat all of us, like he's doing right here. It's just the stairs all on one side. So now he's just got to get the ending here soon. It's coming on to the final few stairs. No problem at all. That's a pass. That's a miscount bonus too, so that gives him 195. Wow, Starsha's here. Hello. Long time no see. I saw that he picked BD24. That's a, a very good choice. 195 points for that, and then he passed Ignis D25 for 200 points. Almost got the miscount bonus on that, too. That's crazy. But that looks like it's his first 25 pick. That's a good choice. It's not very tiring. It's just techy. Looks like he's gonna be being a little more aggro now that he's gone through um, a lot of the staple stuff for someone at his skill range. Oh, Fraggle's gifting a tier one over to Starsha. Hey, thanks, Frag. Jesus, 158 gifted. You're nuts. Enjoy those emotes. Starsha's an OG, chat. Starsha's been around uh, lurking for a while, but they came into this community back in, like, I don't know, man, 2019, 2018. Oh. That's Fraggles. Twenty eighteen you followed me, May fourth. Hi Dad Sag. Yeah, over a thousand messages. Been banned twice, probably for the memes. <laughs> yeah, Daxacron. Banned unbanned. Tactics gift in a tier one sub. Or a subtle bear. 218 total, my god. Yeah, and Ryoto's here too. What's up, man? Ryoto, I, I think you already saw it, I'm pretty sure, but I finally got, um, moved that body S20. I did it off stream. So I've gotten all the S20s now. There's a lot of OG pump chatters in here. Did he get a miss at the end of that run? This little burst right here is really awkward. This is a really weird 23. Like, a lot of people feel like it's not hard, and it, it's really not, the pattern-wise, but it's pretty consistent with the runs. I think uh, the 21 got too much shit from the community, and they're like, we need something harder. Yeah, Crafty, I got that, um, let me pull up my phone and look at the date, because I took a photo on my phone, so it has a timestamp. Nice job. Oh, the basketball court meta. Four miss, that's really good. To me, the miss count bonus. June's really, uh, on a, he's on a roll right now with the, the pace he's going at. He's just under 2,000. Yeah, not even an hour in, not even one third. All right, let me pull up that photo really quick. I got moved that body September 11th, 2021. Oh, that was my last. Yeah, that was my last uh, big achievement before I moved out of the uh, old place. Oh god, this one.
This is ridiculous for a 22. This is one of those ones that's like on par with like Psycho's Post and it's all those really annoying 22s that are arguably a 23. Yeah, this also used to be a 21. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? This is like as, just as bad as a Radiant as like a Prezi D20. <laughs> Any I A R in chat? <laughs> we got Kanata in the chat right now. Oh shit! What up, Kanata? Sure, like it's like, oh, you think you're done? Yeah, no, we're just gonna keep going and just throw these ridiculous scared stairs, like make you go back and forth like crazy. Seven. Yeah, he's June is a very skilled player with cheesing a lot of patterns. That's his strength. So if you give him like Dignity 24, or just like anything similar to that, or patterns that have those kind of transitions from one pad to the next. Very, very easy for him. All right, he's going to take his break at 54 minutes and 20 seconds, so it's going to be 59 20. Yeah, really good bracketing technique. When you have um, a pattern that goes like from red. Or sorry, yellow on one side, either side, to like the red, blue, blue, red, yellow, the six all in a row, the six inner six there. You can just bracket the first four notes and just walk across the pad, which is exactly what he did there at the end. It just keeps repeating that every time you go from one side to the next, but I don't know how the hell that chart was rated a D21. That is silly. What do you mean by cheesing it? Again, what I just said, it's like when it has like a pattern that's meant to be hit like with like a one foot and go individually and alternate your feet, you just hit two notes with one foot and walk across the pad. Saves you a lot of energy. What's up, Venomous? How you going, man? So this is kind of like the explanation. Like when you have a pattern like this, that does a, a stair, which means it goes from the top all across perfectly rather than hitting like your right foot left foot you just hit these two notes the yellow red with your right foot and then you hit these inner blues these two notes with your left foot so you're just cheesing your way through it rather than going one two three four hit it's just two hit instead and it alternates your feet doing that since you go right foot with these two and then left foot here and you just reach over from this bracket to hit this single note and then it just repeats that going the other way right here this one has six in a row, so what you would do is the same thing as hit these four here. Two, two notes with one foot here, two notes with the other here, and then you just walk across with single and complete that. So that's just an example of like a, stri a cheese strat. It's a shortcut, exactly. You've got to think of it like Tetris blocks, so you're just kind of like clumping it all together and just like seeing it as like a single a way to hit like multiple notes as one rather than individually, and that's really common at higher levels. 
Uh, granted, this is a D22, so in the grand scheme of things, it's kind of just like the introduction to doing that kind of tech. But as you get up to like 25s, I would say, is where like it becomes like a staple, like a requirement. If you do, you could do 25s legit, but it's not recommended. Depends like what you're trying to achieve. If you're trying to score, then it's probably more wise to do it legit. But you can still get away with it if you're really good at timing it. It all depends. It's all situational on what the pattern is. <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> oh my god. June is uh, stocking up on protein and supplements right now. Taking the Senzu beans. There's another example here to go over too, which is a little more advanced, but this is another pattern that June and other players can cheese as well. So normally I want you to go left foot on yellow, right foot on red, and then you have to awkwardly backswing from the left foot here underneath this to go and hit this blue. And then this one swings in front. So it's a very aggro transition. It's very common in higher level. But what you can do is just, again, bracket. So left foot on these two notes and then right foot on these two notes. So you can just walk across to go over to these. And it sets you up perfectly because left foot for these two, right foot, and then left foot for this note, right foot here. So it's a smooth transition rather than a very aggro transition. All right, you've got 15 seconds, June. All right, and he's ready. Time for the Moon Knight D21. Good choice. After a five minute break. That's for June. <laughs> Very nice. It's hard for a lot of people, to be honest. This is arguably a 22. Uh, I wouldn't say arguably, it feels like a 22. I'll, you think June will bring 5k? I think so. I, I actually, I almost I want to say I know so because like he's an hour in, so I already got 2k. It depends, crafty. Like. Level 
It depends on how much harder stuff he wants to play. If he plays more lower stuff, then, uh, then no. But if he goes into playing like 25s and 26s more often, then yeah. But right now, he's just kind of basing himself. I was going into missions. I, yeah, that's about right. This chart should just be in the game. The only thing that sucks about this is that the background is so bright. Can't even like tell, boy. Um, like where the notes are half the time because of the VGA. Is uh, function expert level three? No, but he can very well be if he actually just tried to push more. Uh, no. Yes. Just say no. Yes. Just say no. Yeah. Say no. Yes. Yeah. Say no to HJ and say yes to MJ, hey, or maybe. Okay, that's what I want to hear. Now I want to see. All right. Well, you know, next time I see you on stream, I want to see you get a 26. It's just easy. Man. You got it. Look, dude, you got A on Paradox and Vacuum. There's no fucking excuse at this point. It don't matter. You got a broken your living. It's turn that shit into a blue. I don't really know the shirt too well, but it really looks like there's a lot of transitions and a lot of, uh... Oh my god, dude. This is like Pencil Rider, like patterns. Jesus. This is a 21 they rated it? You think it's a 21? Yeah? Slower, a little bit. Okay. Uh, can June pass 26s? Yeah, he's expert three. So that means he has seven 26s passes, at least. He has just seven? Okay. I, yeah, I'm assuming he's all the mess, yeah. 70 points for that. Uh, they do for this avalanche. They did not previously, and only select missions are counting. I don't know, the, uh, the command has all the info for the missions, or which missions count. So LARP is 23. <laughs> I know June can pass this very easily. I still remember this video on your channel when he first when he passed this for the first time. Just cheats all those turns, as you should, to be honest. There's no reason to do all those turns unless you're trying to triple. Really clean. Was that a BSC? Wow. See how he does on the stairs now. I saw two good yeah, it's like it looks like two misses. Nice. Oh, so three? 
Yeah. Uh, was that bracketing on the blue transitions? Yes. Well, no. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't see. I don't know how he does it. Yeah, with the, the two blues. There's different ways you can do that. Um, I don't think he does. I think he just treats it as a jump. Talking about the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. He he jumps it. He goes heel on red. Or blue, sorry. Heel blue, triple on the red, yellow, red, and then he jumps to the inner blues, triples the other side, red, yellow, red, and then heel the single blue. So it's step, jump, 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 step, jump, 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 step, over and over. Now the run that moves laterally, kind of? Is that. I don't know. I'm assuming that we call that stairs. I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. If not, then I I don't know which you're talking about, to be honest. Uh, but he's going into reminiscence. It's just the uh, DP uh, D23. It's not a 24, it's 23. I really, I, I say this, uh, I think almost every time, but I think this shirt's really cool for the fact that like, you, it's DP because you can have, because uh, the chart's 10 panel right now. You, you have two machines side by side and you can make it a 20 panel. And I was able one day want to be able to do that. Seems super fun. I think more than like people playing harder charts and getting passes, like th those are very important. Like, don't get me wrong, but not everybody is Seth over here and just can play 25s up all the whole damn time. So a lot of people, when they go down to 23s, what I feel like the big uh, difference in the point gap for each other is definitely the the point or uh, the A plus, so the miss count bonus. I say that, and now he's going into Bedlam D24. Which, as the name implies, this whole chart is just kind of chaotic. Only one miss in the beginning. Wow. Um... This chart is like all over the place. Like it's got a lot of technical stuff in it. The way the rhythms goes, the notes go along with the rhythms. Picking up some misses here throughout it. Mostly bads from what I'm seeing. So he should be able to clutch a miscount bonus, but this ending is really, really annoying. Oh, he's 
picking up more and more misses right now. I mean, still getting a pass on this is really good. Nice job. Yeah, I knew you could do it. 170. He get he did get the miscount bonus for that. Close. It's three notes away. Next stage. At 2585 right now with an uh, hour and 13 minutes on the clock. Is it a 25? Yep. Nice. <clears throat> Really techy chart. This is right up June's alley. This and just hold on. Like, I'm expecting to see him play both of those. What's up, Wowies? Hey Johnny, I'm doing good, man. It's really quiet. Doing really well on this so far. Nice job. Gonna have to get a little bit more accuracy going here. He's starting to dip on his life bar. Nice job. He's got one more to deal with. Nice job. Beautiful. What a pass. It's another D25 stage pass. That is huge. 150 points. 26 misses. Putting out 27.35. I don't believe that was his first pass. I could be wrong. It's hard to tell with the recent uh, reset they did, the data loss. Hey, Mixel, what's up, V? How's it going, guys? Oh, we're just on the final set of today, and then tomorrow's the last day for Avalanche 5. I knew you were going to say that, V, and that's exactly why I did it. Two steps ahead, baby. Has anyone done a 28? No. <clears throat> No, Trin, I'm not. I want to play the next one. I really do.
Nice cheese. This is a really good cheese chart for June. <clears throat> What is the D28 and how many points? Uh, 500 if you get an A. Not a pass, yeah. If you get a pass, it's 750 for Paradox. No, you're good, Evo. That's what we're here for, man. We encourage the questions. Not much to be said here, honestly. He's just doing June things. <laughs> Easy pass. It's not even a concern for him. Did you like the no eyebrow meta that was on that video too, Mixel? He had to run it back because he knew you would watch it. Now, the no eyebrow meta actually came in clutch. That's why I passed Paradox, honestly. Yeah, if you if you go look, he doesn't have eyebrows. <laughs> Can we explain how the point system works? Um, there's not really much of an explanation, to be honest. It was just a very um, subjective thing that we made. We tried to make it as objective as possible, but... I mean, it's really hard. We've always fine-tuned it as each avalanche has gone by. We've taken constructive criticism from contenders and outsiders as much as we can um, and fine-tuned it accordingly. But, I mean, it's all based around how hard it is to pass the song. And then as you're going up in grade, letter grade that you're getting from the worst being A to the highest being triple S, uh, you get rewarded more points based off of accuracy. And a lot of people raise eyebrows at that, but the argument for that is that if you're getting better scores, you're using more energy doing that versus just getting a pass. Well, he's going for cleaner D26 here, chat. This is a good move. I believe, if I don't, if I'm not mistaken, this was June's first 26. I was, he was at my old place when he was grinding this out, trying to get the muscle memory and learn how to read this properly. Uh, this is going to be a really tough one, though, for him. He, he has a hard time on that death run. It's going to come down to if he's going to be able to execute the, the left side sweep with the little mini holds before the death run begins, because that will kill you fast if you drop it. What's up, Spawn Square? The calm before the storm. This is where it builds up and becomes really, really hard. But there's a little like stair sweep that happens coming up here, and it goes from the middle to the left. Right here. Oh, he hits it. He hits it. Now he's just got to maintain his life here. He's doing great. Really good. Come on, June. Ah. That was really, really good effort. If he got the pass on that, that would have been clutch. That's going to be a great A for sure. Even with a great A, it's 140 points. There's no, no, there's no, um, like, prize or anything. Well, there is now, like, but the, to be honest with you, the contenders don't know about it because this was never intended to be, like, a competitive thing where, like, there's money on the line or anything like that, per se. There's individual competitiveness with, like, the contenders, obviously, because some of them are friends or have, like, a goal. They see, like, a friend or a rival that they have, and they want to try to outdo them or outperform them but that's about it that's as competitive as it gets we've thought about shifting it to be competitive now with how much competitiveness there's been with the qualifiers for this avalanche but avery and i have been pretty against it for the most part up until recently we're a little more open to the idea but if we're gonna be involving money um we would definitely have to make sure we make a lot more officialness on this type of thing like have consistency with a lot of different things yeah he's going to be going for the bracket version of a uh, baroque virus full d23 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely would have thought he would have done the run. I just I feel like he would have more trouble with brackets just because of the way the holds are, but you know, you get a little surprised every day. So from yeah, for Mia's passing B, that was a really weird situation. That was the first time we were presented with that scenario. But we ended up giving her the miscount bonus. Um, but that was it. Just the miscount bonus. Because we still stand behind the idea that if you're getting a B, like, you're being very lazy and just cheesing as much as you can, so you're not putting as much effort into there, so you should not be rewarded what an A gives you. Today's runs were really good, uh, Spawn Square. It's been a lot of great performance. Evan almost got second place from what I heard. He was one song away, so he got top three. Probably use these tournaments as a fundraiser. Well, we don't charge entries or expect viewers to like support it financially. I mean, if anything, we could probably get a custom trophy made for future ones. Um, we're not sure. I mean, we've had uh, a close friend of mine offered like I think over a grand for a prize pool, but he offered it for this one, but we said no because it was just too short of notice, and Avery and I didn't have a chance to kind of like think about it and talk about it. Who's on top right now? His name's Function. Uh, the, the guy sitting in the chair waving at you. He is at 7,000 points. Yeah, what Alessandro says is true. It's just more about pushing yourself. Like, that's the whole point of this event is to really go outside of your comfort zone and push beyond your limits, which a lot of people do. Majority of the contenders are doing that. We've not had anyone walk off early from the three hours, which is really impressive. Um, that is not easy. That's the other thing, V. Um, I've entered all the other avalanches, and that was a huge reason I didn't want money or prizes involved because it would honestly feel unfair with like when it comes to like people that have entered the event so far. Um, if there was ever a prize, and if I were to win a future avalanche, uh, I would not want to take the prize. Obviously, I would give it to the next person, and then go go like that, like go uh, levels down if it's like top three, get rewards or whatever. However we decided to do it. Because there already was like controversy with me entering my own events. People were, people outside people that were watching were always complaining about that, saying like, that's unfair. Why are you entering your own event? So that was one big reason that I was kind of like, all right, I'm not gonna enter this one. But the bigger reason was just the time. Didn't have enough time to train for it. Like, I'm sure I do fine, but my standards are always really high on myself. This man expects nothing but the best. And just like how the last event was, he probably expects him to do the same, if not better. And so since he hasn't been playing too much, he probably won't be able to, he definitely wouldn't be able to reach that expectation of himself. So maybe in the next one, now that he's got more free time, he'll probably push himself a lot harder to get to that point. Yeah, if I were to enter again, I would want to get over 20,000 points. Because last time I got 17,800 or something like that. <laughs> All right, this is the final run of this chart, and you can see it's, it just keeps going. This full song of this is just so repetitive. It's really techy here with the whole tap tech. I love this chart though, it's so well made. Nice, good job. We'd like to also know that the part where he was gaining his life back is like actually the hardest part of the chart. That red section is super awkward. Nice, you got through that. I was a little worried. <laughs> Another cool thing to note is that um, I'm sure you guys seen the run version, but at the end of this bracket version, it goes into the run version, and then also vice versa. At the end of the run version starts uh, is the beginning of the bracket version. Yeah. 
47 miss. 120 points for that one. It's going to put him at 3,175, and he is just under halfway through his Avalanche 5 set. And if you just tuned in or you haven't heard, this is his second Avalanche that he's entered. Oh, he's familiar with the format, and he's doing a great job pacing himself. He's 14 years old, V. Started training him when he was 11, which is crazy to think about. It's been just about three years. <clears throat> What's the highest difficulty song that you've done, and what's the highest difficulty you do most consistently? Uh, 28 is the highest I've done, 27 for most consistent. <clears throat> Perfect. No, June, this is going to be really good if you get the A. <clears throat> 280 points. I got you. D27 right here, folks. This is the third time a D27 has been played, and all three times have been vacuum cleaner. Makes sense. This is... A lot of people argued it's a 26. It's very, very uh, friendly. Yeah. Of course. Avery walked in just for this one. This is a great song, great chart. I mean, honestly, well-deserved break. <laughs> All right, this is 222 BPM, very fast. Um, not too complex as far as patterns go, but just very fast and very stamina driven chart that's why but that's why a lot of people argue that it's a 26 is just because it's pretty straightforward not too complex pattern wise but i think the stamina makes up for that here's the first mini run some drills beautiful run very little miscount there He's gonna have some drills coming up and then he gets a little break. Good job, June. Good job. All right, you get a, get a break here, breathe. Yeah, he full life that, that's really good. The other 27s, there's four total. Vacuum Cleaner, Error Code, Shub Sothoth, and 1950. This is the highest level play so far, is 27. There's three of them. Pretty good. Dropped a little bit on the finale of that drill. If he combos this, he'll have the grace bar at full. He's gonna have to go into two stairs that are really fast, starting from left to right. Let's go, June, push. Let's go. Really good, really good. He's really pushing right now, he's really pushing. Push! He might stage past this. He might stage past this. Oh! I think that's a fail, dude. That might be Korean DLC life bar, dude. Is it a pass? Oh my god! That was a pixel away. <laughs> 280 <laughs> points. Dude, he was so close. That That's really unfortunate, dude. It, that would have been huge. It's that last little burst before the holds. Damn, dude, how much would that have been? Like 500. John! 550 <laughs> points if he had passed that. That would have been his first 27 pass, which is a staple for people. A staple. <laughs> I think it it, it, it it most likely would have been panic mixed with just being tired. If he he had a really good life bar, man, he was so close. It was just the delayed like just hold on bracket part. Like that's what brought down the life. If he had hit that. 
he would have been able to have a little bit of leeway with the last like eight note burst before the holds and that would have been it like, oh 100 percent. he's never gone that far i've seen him get to the bracket drill that's that's the furthest he's gotten that was a really good run and i've told him this before like at our old place like eight months ago that he can totally pass that chart when you have a several like 26s like that like he's got seven you could absolutely get that That, that would have been huge, man. Would have been huge. He's in the 24 over category. Oh, 21. Taking a breather. Uh, Dement. Alright, if he gets an A on this, it's only going to be 10 points because, I mean, <laughs> this is a 19. I'm just going to say it. Don't know what they were thinking on this rating. Chat, I'm like so like hyped up just from that last song. Like, I am... I. I just got exhausted from watching that. <laughs> I'm sure all of y'all did too. Um, yeah, this turn's really easy. There's not much that goes on in the first half, and even in the second one too. Um, it's just a couple of bursts. I don't think this will be too much trouble. Yeah, it's me. What's up, Super? How was the first part? What was that? Now he gets a little break with the holds. <laughs> Alright, he's got one more section that he needs to do. I've seen this the last part. Yeah, that's definitely an S. Not 100% sure if that's a double. I'm not also going to lie. I saw Mercy walking out. I was a little scared. She was going to get on the pad. Wow, that was awesome. a double S. He gives him 45 points. Next uh, maybe, not this one, maybe the next one, V. That's what's the one who touched it. Caught it, I'm sure. At 35, then. At 30, that's the one who got it. At 35, it's just number 30. Which one is this? Is this the 24? Uh, 26? Okay. Okay, well, he's going in again. This man needed out just a little breather to catch his breath after that uh, amazing vacuum cleaner, and now he's going in at Glodius D26. That is 14.99 on the couch. Yeah. Yeah, this is the part where he's going to start going in on his set. Oh. Decided to walk off because he got a couple misses. He just didn't want to deal with it. Game over. Mewtwo. 
too sure where he's going to be heading right now. Might be going back to 26s. Might try 25. Nope, he's just going to run it right back. I think he's looking on YouTube real quick just to understand this one part of the chart. So right now he's going to just like... I know he's playing the 24 now. Okay. This chart has a lot of like different bursts and different holds for sure. Um, this part, honestly, even though it is hard, it's still pretty tame comparably to like the second half of the chart. Yeah, just, he gets it this time. He just needed to run it back. That's all. So he's gonna get a little break here before the uh, the final run of the chart, which is like it's pretty long. I don't know the exact measures, but it just goes on for a little bit. But once it starts, it doesn't stop till the finish. Uh, but it's got a different bunch of different stuff. It's got a lot of drills, so you're gonna see it in the beginning. And if I do remember correctly, there is a decent amount of pad transitions from going left and right. And it just kind of doesn't stop with these anchors. And then I was going to go with the reds. Yeah. Easy, easy pass. So that gives him 170 points. Um, currently sitting at 36.70 at an hour and 40. He's going into another 26, Kokujin Labyrinth. This one is definitely one of the more popular 26s because it's kind of on the lower end of the 26 scale. I do imagine. Um, this one won't give him too much trouble in the first half, but we'll see how it goes during the uh, the harder second half of the run. Is a fraud of full combo this? Nice. Is it just an S or? Just an S, okay. That's really good, honestly, even still. Like, even on Ancient, yeah. Sorry, I'm not a little more energetic. I've been, I've been on here, like, all day, so I'm just kind of a little tired. Has anyone played Repentance D26? No, no one has. Uh, not that I know of, at least. Yeah, it gets past the first part. No problem. Full life. Now it's just a little, a little break. A um, couple little bracket holds right before this final run goes through. Which at this point, with 26s and stuff like that, they just all have like relatively hard sections of streams. So, and this one's just, there's nothing like too complex besides it, besides it just being super fast. And he's just going in. He needs to get these brackets though. Uh, he, he, it's not over, it's not over. He's gotta get this in. He's gotta get these hold. All right, that's a pass. Yeah, 
19. That also gives him the miss count. That's 410 points. That dropped him up. Or that brought him up a lot. He's now at 4080. Next stage. Yeah, with <laughs> Really solid stuff coming out from June right now. I think he's eyeballing other 26s right now. Gonna do Sarah Bond D24. Definitely one of the harder N24s. This is a um, definitely a stamina N24. It just doesn't really stop. You don't really get too much breaks once the start keeps going. And the patterns get more and more aggro as the the further in on the chart you do get. You start throwing in all the sorts of fucked up stuff to get you to throw yourself across the pad, get you to turn, but we'll see how he ends up doing on this. To the first part, so full life with extra for sure. <laughs> it's kind of hopping its way through. Gets most of the stairs. Oh, he's got to get his life up right here. Nice. All right. Gotta hit pretty much all these jumps right here and to get his life up fully and to order to get to the next part. Because this is where it starts to get really aggressive. Wow. Well done. That gives him another miscount bonus of 170 as well. Wow. He's now currently at 4,250. Yeah, the miscount bonuses definitely, like, it helps a lot. And it definitely will push people up on the scoreboard a lot more. Yeah, he can, he can get it for 7k. If he's going to keep this pace of just playing like 24s and 25s, especially at this rate or like the miscount bonuses that he's doing, like he, he's definitely well on his way to be able to get there. But uh, now he's doing Just Hold On, which is definitely one of his more stronger suits. He like PSC the whole drill section and like almost the whole slowdown too. Alright. 
starting to build up with the song. Got a couple drills that he's gonna go through, and then a few more notes, and then run, or we'll start here in a bit. <laughs> hey, we're just walking here. Yeah, I see this shit in person. Now you can chill on the inner four for a little bit. It just has a couple of brackets that it gets thrown in. All right. Now this is where the really hard part is, where you have to do these transitions while also doing that, uh, the brackets. It's a lot. It's a lot easier than uh, indestructible, I would imagine. But it doesn't even matter. Gets through the slowdown. It's going through the bracket transitions, and that's a pass. Yeah. 27. Uh, it's not the miscount bonus, but that still gives him 160 points. Okay. Yeah, it's not like it's not like he's just vibing on the center floor, but in comparison to the rest of the chart, there's not that much movement. Um, to you're gonna take a break. Game okay. Over. Uh, 154. All right, so June right now is gonna be taking a break for the second. Um, but anyways, yeah. So during like the rest of the chart, there's a lot more movement as you saw like even right before where he's like throwing himself across the pad and then even afterwards where there's a lot of uh, different tech and sort of stuff like that so what I mean by like channeling on the center four is just like he's that there's a lot less movement so you're not using as much energy whenever you are doing that yeah but there's some people that might not know in chat so I'm also gonna clarify for them Uh, just to let you guys know as well, June is currently sitting at 4,410 points uh, at one hour and 50 minutes. He is currently taking a break to catch his breath. What's up, Cher? Has there been talk for a lower level tier avalanche or is it just getting better response? Uh, I don't think there ever really will. At least if there will be, it won't be hosted by us, as far as I know. Um, I think they've mentioned it a bit before, but I'm not 100% sure. going on, Anna? Um, I don't really know. We don't work for Anamira, so I can't give you an answer on that, to be honest with you. I would like to believe no, but I have no idea.
You got one more minute, sir. Yeah, it's still going on. We got another hour and five minutes after left for today. Uh, how many points did he get last year? I actually do not know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to pull it up. So if I did, I would be able to tell you. It looks like he's just going back into it right now. Still had a couple more seconds, but he decides he's good enough to go in. You two, difficult, difficult, No, it was not. It was more than 2k, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's going to dig me 24. Okay, yeah, this is definitely one of his stronger suits, too, because a lot of these patterns you can easily cheat if you know how to do it correctly. This chart's still not easy by any means. Yeah, it, it was the same from last year. Or not last year, but the last event. All right, yeah. So he's doing really good on this so far, which still right up his strong suit being able to achieve most of these patterns. <laughs> okay. Coming up onto the uh, dust area right now. Absolutely destroys that. Doing really good overall. I don't really have too much to say. <laughs> Solid job. Yeah. Sixteen misses. That is I believe that is one over the miss counts. Unfortunately, yeah, it was one over. It would have gave him 30 more, but it's okay. Still, it still gives him 170. Does each difficulty have a different miscount? Yes, it does. Um, depending on which one, it goes up more the higher the difficulty. Um, it starts off with five, and then 24 is 15, 25 is 20. Um, I believe 20 and 21 are both five, and then I think 22 is seven, and then 23 is 10. Sorry to go to hypnosis D22. Shard's really solid on... Oh, he just missed all that. Okay. He's probably just gonna walk off it. Hey! Why don't you just get up and dance, man? <laughs> Level up! Level up, gamer! Gets it this time, so 
Now, I originally was going to say that the uh, the jacks at the, at the beginning of this chart is like probably the hardest part of it. And that's what most players have a difficult time getting past. is executing them very well right now. Yeah. As they're saying in the background behind me, he is a DDR player, and that is definitely something that, like, because he does play DDR, I do feel like he has an advantage over a lot of other pump players, for sure. Uh, what are the requirements for Avalanche? Just... There's qualifiers that come out for four songs and just be better than the other people. That's pretty much it. There's no like special rules or anything like that in terms of just can't play on BJ. That's about it though, on rank. So if you wanted to try whenever the next one comes around, um, they'll be posted on Facebook and just like a whole group for it. and. I'm sure in the Happy Feeds Discord, they'll be posted on there as well. And you can give, shoot your shot and then send it and know you can possibly be in it. So this is like the beginning of the end for the, the final run. It's got this like weird stare turn, uh, like twist stuff, but it's not too bad in comparison to what's happened here because this is where it gets really messed up. You can get his life back here with some of these anchors. He's got to hit the rest of this. He's got to get this. Ooh, that was a little close. He gets that pass. 25. Gives him a solid 30. Yeah, Dylan, but you also got to remember there was a reset on all the scores. They have 2-2. Two, two. The D23. This chart's been really popular during this whole avalanche as well. I mean, it should make sense. It's worth 140. You get the stage pass. So a lot of people are wanting to go after it. It's got a lot of technical stuff in the beginning. And it, when it's not the technical stuff, it's a lot of fast bursts. Just the intro burst section doesn't matter too too much uh, because you can get all you get all these holds, but you have to hit them. Which unfortunately, I don't think he definitely died right there. But he's still gonna keep playing. He's gonna go for that A. very well on everything else like I'm honestly generally surprised that he was able to get his life up during that the burst section and combos almost all of that and so now the finale is just a couple of side drills which is honestly pretty awkward because like a lot of these drills are just like I don't you don't really know what way to face fully Gets through with that quad hold. Yeah, so crazy. Four misses. Score fifty still. He decided that going back to try to re-clear wasn't too worth it. So now he's going to go on to imprinting D24.
Which I feel like, unlike most of the people in this tournament, he's actually gonna probably cheat uh, most of the parts that are cheatable. Which will, which is cool, because like uh, the thing I do like about this chart is, like I've said in some of the previous uh, sets that people have played, is that there are different ways to play this chart. And almost every single one of them has had a different approach to certain sections. Switch all that. <clears throat> wow. So I was totally wrong about him cheating. He's doing most of this legit. Now he's cheating it. I just did that like no problem. <laughs> Full I said. What a chad, dude. That was so clean. Two? Two misses? Are you kidding? What the heck? <laughs> I... All right. Well, that gives him 160. I saved to say he got the miscount on that. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Two? Any tours in chat? Two? Live. Alright. <laughs> Alright, he's going. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, he's going over to Cross Soul now, which is definitely a way harder turn than in Prince Inn. This chart is ruthless with its run at the end. <laughs> You're good. You just missed the most hilarious imprinting pass I saw. Yeah, but he got 25 bats and we thought he got so many more misses, but he only got two. Just like, what? Yeah, now he's... <laughs> 48, 20. Yeah. <laughs> I was debating on checking in just because it was V. Yeah, the beginning's real chill in comparison to the, what's coming up. Yeah, final edition 2 too. He would have passed it, but he fell on the whole part. He, he literally got his life back on the, on the part after. Alright. So we're prepping for Doomsday now for the end run. Does it just does not stop once it starts? It's starting already. Literally no break is that <clears throat> given at all of this. Your break is just drills. So now it starts throwing in a lot more aggressive turns. And then it's the angers on the blue. As you pass transition to those turns and he gets it that he just full lights it. Like absolutely no problem. Like a beast. That gives him 160. With the three miscount bonus, that gives him 190 right now. He's now hit the 5,010 at two hours and eight minutes. 
Oh yeah, he did pass Labyrinth too. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Okay. Game Labyrinth? Over. Uh... Dude, 410. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. How much was he at last season? How much was he at last that much? It was like 6k I thought, right? Or something like that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Level 20, level 22. Yeah, three. That is bonkers. What? 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 Okay. All right. This is the first time this has been played. How many? Three seven. He got three seven. So he's already like over 1.5 the amount of last avalanche okay for those that haven't seen this chart because it hasn't been played this is really really hard i want seth explain it more uh yeah this is like if chase b was a 26 basically so you're gonna take it three notches up because that's a d23 and just turn it into a 200 bpm stamina shit show and not only just does it have endless runs that go on and hard patterns but it throws in ridiculous bracket technique that is really really hard and as usual, it progressively gets harder and harder. Gets a nice little break right here. And then it just keeps going. Come on, June. Get these holds. This is where it gets hard. <laughs> really hard. Come on, June. Come on. Ah, so close on that. Well, even this ending, because, like, the holds don't give your life bar back up. Like, look at this. He's hitting all these holds, and it's barely even moving. You miss one, you're done. And then this. It's just so, so stupid. So fun, dude. Really, really impressive run. I, I've never seen June play that. Yeah, that, that looks like a first time play with an A. 140 points. Next stage. Yeah, 50 misses is still impressive. That chart is hard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> who's younger than Graham? Literally the guy who's playing right now, June, he's 14. <laughs> A literal child. June and Chucky. Yeah, Ch Chucky's real young too. Uh, I don't. I don't remember his age. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's the same points as Cleaner A. <laughs> Just ridiculous. How old? Usa is older man. That is his age. <laughs> That's what he put, so That's what you're getting. I thought hey, we saw everyone with a four, so. 24. Yeah, was it 24, chat? Right? Yeah, okay. All right. I still think Grandma's 16. Probably. Did they ever kick you out of Dojin? Uh, no. 
know. I messaged a lot about you whenever all that stuff happened. It was, that dude never replied or anything. It's like he didn't care. <laughs> like, whatever. Don't people shake my head. What does that even mean? Who are you? You're just a first time chatter. What's up? Here comes the actual run of the chart, the actual hard part. Absolutely killing it right now. A lot of this stuff, a lot of the run in the beginning and the first part of it, you just kind of stay on like left or right side, and then it progressively gets more harder. And now he's like starting to go back and forth, and he's able to cheat most of these transitions. Now he's gonna go in. Gotta get the last few notes. Gets the hole. Misses a couple, but that's okay. He, uh... Yeah, that's one miss. Oh, I'd... wait, no, it's 16. Yeah, one miss too high, so that gives him 140. Is he gonna do that? What? Hey, I recommend it. I said if he feels up to it because it's a lot of points, but it's hard. Yeah. He's fast, though. Mickey Mouse be calling. <laughs> oh! Uh, <laughs> this is the, uh, yeah, that's the 23. Okay. All right, well, he's still alive. He's got to hit most of this that's coming up in order to keep live on the rest of this. Yep. Still alive. He's got pretty much hit all these notes so they get his life back up. But it's a lot slower and a lot more reasonable too than uh, the, the, definitely the intro. I mean, you probably want to read slower on charts like these that have a lot of different jumps, so that way you have more time to prep for actually jumping and also hitting the brackets, especially because of the ending with how fast it is. Uh, it's a pass. And honestly, too, it's just player preference because people like Avery want to, or not Avery, people like Evan just want to read at 700 for everything. 15, 
Oh, my uh, voice just got kind of hard there. Um, yeah, it's a remix of an older song, kind of. All right, so we're gonna add uh, Leah Tranky right now. I didn't really play too much DDR, so I I wouldn't know honestly, but I do believe they did have a lot of pop songs on there, so I could totally believe that. So this chart is very uh, twisty as well, but there's a lot of patterns on here where you can easily cheat at most of it. I'm not gonna lie, he's kind of making me a little nervous with this part. He's got, he's full life, he doesn't have the extra too, too much. Okay, well he combos all that, so he's definitely got enough life for the overflow now. Get through it. Seventeen. He's in a hundred points. So he's right now at 5,520 at two hours and 20 minutes left. Or two, he's at two hours and 20 minutes. He's got four, about 40 minutes left. Does anyone have a pizza email? Uh, it's not pizza, it's crumble cookies. It's really good. They're also ginormous. Don't be jealous, Dylan. All right, we're doing that glow 26. I love how quiet it got as soon as she picked this song. Start after dying from that. Hey, why don't you just get up and dance, man? Uh, curious, is there any rules for repeating charts? No, there are. Oh, I mean, yes, there. 
kind of. There isn't a rule for rupee and charts, but you won't necessarily gain uh, any more points. So if you pass a chart and you're not going to get another S or whatever, uh, it's not worth going for because you won't get any additional points. So you can't play like the same chart over and over and over again and stage pass it and get the same amount of points. However, if you do play a chart and you get like a broken A and you know you can go back and stage pass it and get the blue A, you can um, you can do that and you will get the remaining uh, point difference from that. So for some people, it might be worth it. Uh, to go back and do that because you know some charts the, the difference between a, a broken to a pass is like a hundred points Yeah All right, so take everything about the 24 and make it just like way harder. That's just that. That's pretty much the 26. Yeah, crafty. The thing about with three though is that there was a point. They the points in three were pretty different from the points in four, as far as I know. So he got past the kind of the intro, and now he's going to get into the break section. Three wasn't. It wasn't in three. Three was still the first event that had three hours. All right. So this is where it like, gets really hard. Um, there's a lot of stuff, and there's a lot of tech that is involved in it, and there's a lot of running of pad transitions that are in this. Gotta really go in here now. Come on, June. Oh, barely. It's still gonna be an A. It's still gonna be an A. So it gives him 140 points. Gunrock. That seems about right. He, he's really good at doing those stairs, so. <laughs> the chart is also just ridiculous over around. Facts, people. But I'll let Seb respond to that one. Oh, respond to what? What's the T? <clears throat> Where? Imagine being 14 and going to a girl man's house, and the guy that lets you in has no eyebrows. That's my answer.
very solid that he's going into this with a complete full life. That's a pass. I'm mad. That's some solid stuff. Nine, that's the miscount bonus too, so that gets him at 190. Jeez. Yeah, we wanted to make sure that we were going to give a really big reward for the miscount bonus on that kind of chart. Uh, it yeah. is incredibly hard to get sub 10 on that. Oh, you know when we banned Josh the other day, I forgot to unban him. No, I, I didn't forget. And I'm not going to forget about Tweebel. Fuck that guy. All right. Bye. Blackbeard the Barber, thanks for the sub for 11 months. Welcome back, man. Thanks for so much for the love. That's a really impressive discount, honestly, on that chart. Dude, I'm actually very curious how he's gonna do on this one, too. I love this song, man. It's such a good Doan song. By the way, chat, I just want to let you know, he's also played uh, 47 songs so far. And he's still got another 30 minutes. This man is not stopping anytime soon. The fact that he's played this many songs is just impressive on its own. Really techy 24, as you can see. Just a Skittles amount of arrows just cluttering the screen. Really fun to play, though, if you know how to do it. Oh, man. This is art. Second half gets a little more spread out with the brackets. Doing really well. Only got one of those dropped. A few more seconds here. Easy. The, uh, the squeaking sound, dude. I, I love it. I, I'm glad they can hear it, to be honest. <laughs> nice job. Yeah, 18 miss. Just a hair above the threshold for the bonus, but you still get 170 points for that one. Uh, it was 3,700, so 64 or 74? 3,700 is what he got last year, or last Avalanche. 7,400. Uh, vacuum D25. Yep. Great choice. Winnable. Uh, we just got a $3 donation from Tweeble. I'm sorry, let me come back, Sag. No, thanks for the money, loser. <laughs> Fraggles, what the fuck is wrong with you? Nah. This ain't pay to win, son. No, nah, if you're going to do pay to win, you're going to add a lot more zeros to that. Five minimum.
That's his bail. Yeah. When you go to jail in real life, you have a bail. You have to pay. All right. When you get banned in this Twitch chat, you have a bail. You got to pay. All right. It's the law. All right, let's go, June. Hit this stair. Nice. Picked up like two or three misses on that. Jump tech here and save energy. Nice job. Great pass. Yeah, I knew you could do it. That's unfortunate. I only did get the miscount bonus. He almost had it. But you still get 220 points for that stage pass. Going to put him at 6240. Oh, yeah. Like playing vacuum cleaner D27 and then getting to that, that's nothing. That's a cakewalk, dude. Same with cleaner. He was one note off from the miscount bonus. You can save energy at drills by doing jumping jacks. Yep, yep. If you conserve on the jumps, it's not as bad. I don't have any money. Really, it just depends on your skill set, though. Five hundred robux if you download it also depends test out on my video well, game. Well, you just need to save energy, so yeah. I mean, if you can save, you save energy that way, but you also lose your accuracy too. So it's a trade-off on its own. <laughs> okay, wise guy. I I see your dono, Tweeble. You little shit. You actual fucking degen. What what is the logic behind Twitch? Like, hey, this user's banned, but you can donate still. Stupidest shit ever. What did he say? I just said it. He said, I don't have any money, but I can offer you 4,500 Robux if you download and test out my video game. Too soon. Oh, this is ballsy. Seeing that June struggles with the uh, quad holds. This is a risky one. This is where it's really intense. If he drops too many of these, it's going to punish him hard, but he's gotten through it. The next section I'm not too concerned about. I think June can handle this. This is the part. All right, he got that. And he's got one more quad hold. Outer reds and yellow. Right at the end. Yep, if you can get that, then you're safe. Right here. Nice job. Oh, he doesn't even give a shit about that.
100 points. This is one of the most played charts in Owl of Avalanche 5, yeah. There's Trusta Bay and Trashy Innocence are both at nine plays. Imprinting, Your Mind, and Nihilism are at eight plays. Final Audition 2-2 two, two, and Video Odyssey at seven for top three. Of most played, nine, eight, seven times. Oh, June's on the road to 7,000. If he can get 7.4K, that is double his amount from Avalanche 4. Yeah, that's going to be hard. He's going to have to pull out some like D26 pass out of his ass. No, he could try Repentance. He's very good at that chart. Every time he was trying to play it while grinding out the pass, his first pass on it, he was always close. I wonder how much that is. Is traveling 16 hours and participating in Avalanche worth it? You can ask me. She literally came from um, Europe. <clears throat> Is there a price for first place? Uh, no, there's no, there's no there's no real prize at all. It's just like a lot of these players are just here to just push themselves and see how well they can do. And June gets to pass all that. So you can just easily change most of that. Play on wow. Seth with yeah. Seth on stream forever. Yeah, okay. Next stage. This is a June chart? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. Avalanche? Yeah, definitely for five. Really, the only 26 in the play is like Coco Gen. Like all the other ones, I don't know. But this makes sense for June's skill set, considering how well he's, he's able to cheat a lot of these patterns, like, or just a lot of patterns in general. A lot of these patterns are just like really messed up that you even try to attempt to do them legit, but I'll let Seth take this one. He knows this chart more than I do. Yeah, this is a extremely technical 26 and very old. I think it's aged very well in my opinion. Come on, June. Just gotta build up that life bar on these holds here, but it's really hard for him. Doing well. Nice. This is the next section that's gonna be concerning. Come on, June, hit this. Come on. Get your life bar up. He's still alive. Let's go, get your life bar up. Get your life bar up. Let's go. Build it up on the holds. Ah. Push. That's going to be an A. That was a really good run. It's going to be 150 points. A great attempt. That was so close. 
Uh, that's an example of what we were saying earlier about like his weight really being an issue with the plot holds because like if it wasn't, he could have got a lot more life up with those and it wouldn't have been so much of a struggle with him, I guarantee it. That's 66.05 with little time on the clock, 16 minutes to go. Alright, he's going for Repentance D26, uh, another strong suit for June. The only concern is the quad holds before the bracket jacks. He's got to hit that. That's his only way of having a chance at passing this one right now. They're worth a lot. There's a double-edged sword. It lets you recover if you hit them, but you are it's an instant loss if you drop any of them at all. Like even if you survive dropping one of them, like you're just you're done. Recovering your life bar at that point is too late for majority of players. Compared to Chimera, this is nothing for stamina, especially for June. A lot can be done here to conserve energy and just cheese. Plenty of red, yellow, red patterns, blue, yellow, blues, uh, just double step. Hit the red zone on his life bar there, but again, he's got time to recover. Come on, June. Right here. Nice job. Nice. That's the easier part. This is a little more techy. Very, very good. Come on, June. Push, push. Ah, really close. That was a really good run. That death run was just too fast for him right now. He's just gassed out. 130 points. If he can get Gargoyle for his last song, that would be, like, yeah, really good. Yes. I think he can do it. I think so. It'd be hard, but he, he's so good at hopping. And it's slow. He's having a hard time with speed. I'm going to advise that for him. Well, Cite LaRue. Oh. 
Um, I think he should be okay on this one, theoretically, but again, it's just going to come down to the holds. So each worth five hits, so you miss a couple of these, your life bar is gone. Oh, he's got to hit this. Nice. That was clutch. Nice little break right here. And he's got to hit this last part right here. Very nice. Clean. PFC'd that. One more burst. All right. He just has the finale. The blue yellow uh, pattern. All mini holds. That'll give him 150 points. At this rate, if he does another pass like that, he's going to be at 7,000. 23 miss. That is really, really good on a chart like that. He's got about three songs left. Um, Seth's trying to talk to him into trying to do a full song for his last song. He's about 125, or I'm sorry, 115 points away from being 7K, but if he gets, we're trying to get him to 7,500 or 7,400, so that way it would actually literally double his Avalanche 4 score, which would be super impressive. Um, we'll see what he can do. We're trying to get him to get to that point himself within these last three songs, so. But he has about like nine minutes. I knew someone was going to say that on that comment. They were saying it when I rested, they can chill my inner core. <laughs> it's, tr it's true, dude. It's true. At, at this level, like, that's how brutal 24s are. Your break <laughs> is the run with no movement at all. <laughs> People look at that like, what the fuck? Yeah, they play, like, Paradox D28, and he's doing, like, the, the bracket hold part near the intro, and I'm like, nice little breather. <laughs> uh, this game's fucked up. <laughs> If he gets this, you said it's 130? Yeah, it's about 130. He's going to be over 7K. And if if he passes this in one other song, any any other song, all right, it'll still put him. Yeah, he'll get 7,005 if he gets the pass on this. That's not even counting the miss bonus. If he gets that, that just helps him. But um, first place right now, where's the player ranking? I know it's... Function is day one, total player. Yeah, Function is in first place right now. Uh, here's a quick little preview of it. 7,035. June is currently at 6,885, but he's gonna get 120 points, not even including the miscount bonus if he gets it on this. Yeah, at that point it's just, Literally any pass that's not a 20 or 21, maybe some of the 21s, but he's not, June's not intending to do that. He's staying above 23s and up. Okay, he's doing the strat to hop it, which is good. He's good. No, it's good. That's going to put him over 7K. Oh, he's fine. There you go. And that puts June over 7,000 points. We're now done, though. We still got seven more minutes. And he gets the miscount bonus. Yeah. 145 points. That puts him five points before first place. That is insane. How's it feel to 
Yeah, he's got about enough time for one more, so he's probably gonna chill, and then he's probably gonna reset the machine and go for that full song. Which is what I, is definitely the smart shot to do, because this chart really does not stamina heavy at all. It's just technical, so he can kind of just get, catch his breath. Uh, the audience is roasting Ben right now, who's in first place for the next minute and a half. <laughs> He's really uh, giving a run for his money. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get for oh, maybe not. <laughs> you know that you know that uh, all state commercial. He's like, oh, we gotta get even quicker than that. <laughs> Yeah, so, so Ben's name is um, Function. We, <laughs> I just call him by his first name, and so does a lot of everyone else here. So, it's a, I wouldn't say it's a ballsy pig, because especially since he's expert three. Like the song should not necessarily be giving him too much trouble. It is easy to make mistakes though, even still, at a, if, if you're an expert three player. But. Still got one more hard part. Okay, yeah. 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 It's pretty. The rest of the. Yeah, the rest of this chart isn't too bad. Honestly, it's just a couple more holds that are as hard. And honestly, he can just skip the stair entirely if he wanted to at the end. Yeah, see, <laughs> it don't matter. You have so much overflow life if you hit that. 50 misses, so that officially puts June at first place with 7,055 points, but he's not done yet. He still has another four minutes to go. So he could still go higher if he wanted to, and that... He's got four minutes or three and a half minutes left. He has time maybe for one more. Maybe like a shortcut in a full song. He's got to pick pretty quickly. Uh, he might have time for a, another song if he's fast. We'll see what he does. He just hits 57. So yeah. Three more minutes. It's not about two. Yeah, he should have no time. He's got to reset like immediately, though. So you literally have no excuse. You're good at drills. You should be able to pass the song, dude. That wasn't a miss, was it? an insane set. Yeah, it's whatever. It's just going for the pass. Dude, Josh, that, that joke has been set so much tonight already. <laughs> Minute and a half, June. 
You're good, go ahead. Like, no joke. I'm being set serious. There's a lot of people making that comparison already. <laughs> One minute. Yeah, it's gonna have time. No, you're nervous, just like me. Woo! All right. So, uh, this is the song he's picking. One thirty. That. One thirty for a broken ankle. Give him the countdown on the time. You got thirty seconds. I'll I'll give you till fifteen. I'll start counting down. Yeah. Five hundred for a pass. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. He's in it. Uh, go ahead and grab that. All right. This is going to be the official last song of June set, which is Gargoyle D25. I know in the last avalanche, this was like the meme last pick, but June is not a memer. He is a dreamer, and he's going to attempt to get it as best as he can. Chat, I'm going to be real. I'm really fucking nervous about this. Because <laughs> if he does get this... He's gonna, it's 500 points, and it would double his score from last Avalanche, which would be absolutely a, a tremendous achievement. Try to just barely move on this as little as possible to conserve energy. All he's trying to do is go for a pass. He's that's his main goal on this. 370 point difference between a fail A and a blue A. This song is about six and a half minutes long. And it, uh, it, for the musicians out there that know how to count measures, this song is over 300 measures of 16th notes at 150 BPM. There's literally no stopping. It does not stop. It does not let up. This is a level 25, and it's the pinnacle of stamina 25s. Doing pretty good right now, but making deals with the devil with that a life bar. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, June. Get the life bar up. Don't risk it. Don't risk it. Blue yellow blues he can get away with, but these cluttered up notes, he's taking a big gamble. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I I don't know. I think that might be a it's just really hard to say. It might be a one pixel life. Just gotta believe, chat. I think, the came up pretty quickly, so I, think it's I think you still have it because it did recover quickly. If it, it, if it takes like 20 notes, that means it's one. One thirty. Treat it like you're still alive, June. 
he I, I, he might be alive, dude. Yeah, because his life bar bounced right back up, and usually it takes a bit. Yeah, uh, the key thing with life bar is like if you dead, if you die, it takes about 20 notes for you to actually start recovering your life. Come on, June. Come on. You got some drills coming up. You relax then. Come on, push, push, push. Get it up, get it up. Nice. You gotta get your life bar up here. Come on. Very risky. Come on, Jim. Come on. Push. Push. Get your life bar up right now. You got to do it all. Go. Go. Get it up. It's too, it's too low, dude. It's too low. Even if he's alive, this next section is really hard. He is barely holding on. I, that's <laughs> really close. I don't, I don't, that one took a bit to get back up, dude. I, I don't know. Regardless, that's just, still an insane performance by June. This is a coin toss. Nice job. He's done. Great job. That concludes June's second avalanche. Yeah. Ah. Hundred and thirty points, concluding at seven thousand two hundred and fifty. Amazing. Fourteen years old, chat. I just want to clarify it was only a hundred and fifty from times two in his score, but even even being that fucking close from doubling his score from last Avalanche to show you how much of a significant improvement he has gained from those past two years. It is wild. Um, I'm gonna get everything set up for the post stuff. Um, so that way so I can get ready for the interview and all that stuff as well. So just give us one second so we can also let him breathe considering he just did all of that in the past three hours.
All right, guys. So we're here with June. June, how you feeling, man? Uh, I feel exhausted. Yeah. Uh, was it more difficult for you this time around compared to the first avalanche you did? Mm -hmm. But yeah, you. I, I had to do like like more stamina charts, so I was more tired than before. Yeah, you uh, nearly doubled your results compared to the last avalanche you did, which is incredibly impressive. You had a lot of fans watching you on Twitch and a lot of people here in person watching you. Um, if you want to give any shout outs at all, now is the time. I want to thank everybody for helping me reach a more higher score than before. And yeah, thank you. Yeah, and let's give a big round of applause for June now, everybody. And just one more reminder. One more reminder for everyone here and in Twitch chat. Uh, I started training June when he was 11 years old and he was uh, a beast then and he's even a bigger beast now. He's up and coming, he's a prodigy for this game and for DDR, he loves rhythm games, he's very talented. 14 years old now and just insane, insane performance. So well done June. All right, chat. Um, it's seriously an insane performance. I already see you guys already giving him a round of applause in the chat, as he's well deserved. Because let me tell you, he so far has played 57 songs during his set, which is absolutely insane. It is, it is the most definitely in this tournament as of now. I don't know if someone will beat that tomorrow, but um, it is just that is insane to even say. Uh, his average difficulty was 23.47, um, and then his highest difficulty was the D27. He was super close to passing Vacuum Cleaner, and uh, the most common played was the D23 uh, with 17 songs. Uh, seriously, great round of applause for June. That was an incredible, incredible performance. I cannot stress that enough.